Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the principle of operation of variable reluctant stepper motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Principle of operation variable reluctant stepper motor. The operation is based on the various reluctance position of the rotor with respect to the stator. So as the name implies variable reluctant stepper motor, it is based on the reluctance position between the stator and rotor. The construction of this variable reluctant stepper motor separate video available. When any one of any one phase of the stator is excited, it produces its magnetic field whose axis lies along the poles of the phase which is excited. Now we will see the diagram. So while exciting, it will allies with the, the axis is, uh, lies along with the poles. That is called a minimum reluctance position. It will align with the minimum reluctance position. Now we will see the cross-sectional diagram so that we are able to understand very easily. Now we will go to see the diagram. So this is the cross-sectional view of the variable reluctance stepper motor the stator the outer is the outer frame is there this is a stator poles so this small circle is called a stator windings so this is a rotor rotor shaft and rotor bolts so there are four rotor poles available one two three four the stator poles a a dash b b dash c c dash so A A dash connected vertically available connected in series. B B dash also connected in series. C C dash connected in series. So the windings are available. When the supply is given, it becomes the excite. When the excitation is given, it becomes the magnet. So this rotor poles. So the based on the principle, it will align with the minimum reluctance position. Now we will see how it is excited this coil A A dash, B B dash and C C dash. Now we will see the circuit arrangement for this cross sectional view. So this is the circuit arrangement. A A dash connected in series controlled by the switch S1. B B dash connected in series controlled by switch S2. C C dash connected in series controlled by S3. So it is excited by the DC supply. So we can control the excitation using the switches S1, S2, S3. So if we go in a order A, B, C and A, then it will the motor will rotate in clockwise direction. If we go A, C, then B, A, if we go in this order, it will it will rotate in a counterclockwise direction. So that can be controlled by the switches. So A, B, C, A, clockwise direction. A C B A is the counterclockwise direction. Now we will see the detailed view how we are exciting. First consider coil A A dash is excited then B B dash then C C dash. During this what will happen in the rotation of the rotor we will see the diagram. So this is the diagram is the first step. The first step coil A A dash is excited is around a 0 degree. So the rotor is aligned with the stator. This coil A A dash is excited so it become magnet. So the rotor poles are aligned with the stator poles. That is 1 aligned with A, 3 aligned with A dash. This is the minimum reluctance position. It is called a 0 degree initial position or the first step. After some time B B dash. This B B dash is excited. A A dash is de-energized. That is switch S1 is open and S2 is closed. Here switch S1 is closed. So that A A dash excited. After some time S1 is open and S2 is closed. So that B B dash is excited. Now the rotor is aligned with the this B B dash. So 2 aligned with B, 4 aligned with B dash. So it is rotated around 30 degree. So we will exciting from a to is coil A to coil B, the rotor is aligned with the coil B and rotate around 30 degree. So initially A A dash excited, 
is called a initial position or first position 0 degree when a a dash is d energized and b b dash is energized the rotor rotates in clockwise direction around 30 degree that is aligned with the coil b b dash 2 aligned with b a aligned with b dash so then the third step we are going to excite the coil c c dash now we will see the diagram c c dash is excited it is called a third step so this is the third step now the c c dash is aligned c c dash is excited so it is the rotor is aligned with the c c dash 1 is aligned with c dash 3 is aligned with c so another 30 degree that is totally 60 degree is rotated so totally 60 degree is rotated so initially a a dash is excited it is a 0 degree while b b dash is excited rotate around clockwise direction of 30 degree while exciting C C dash go another 30 degrees so totally 60 degree rotates so every excitation it will rotate around 30 degree 0 30 60 90 like that it will go now we will see the description what we discussed the description is available so let us see the operation of the variable reluctance stepper motor when the phases A B C are excited in a sequence one after the other with the help of the switches S1, S2, S3 that is what we discuss in the circuit diagram S1, S2, S3 so in the first one position step 1 when the phase A, A dash is excited with the switch S1 is closed the stator magnet axis exists along the poles formed due to the A, A dash is vertically so while exciting A, A dash using the switch S1 stator magnetic axis ex is exist because A A dash available in a vertical vertical manner that already we discussed in the constructional view so due to that the rotor adjusts itself in a minimum reluctance position and occupies along A A dash that is 1 and 3 rotor position 1 and 3 aligned with A A dash so this is called a initial position or 0 degree that is a step 1 what we discuss now we will go to the b b dash while exciting b b dash what will happen so when the b b dash phase is excited with the switch s2 closed and d energizes the a a dash phase with the switch s1 open so the switch s1 is open and s2 is closed so a a dash is de energized and b b dash is energized then the stator magnetic axis shift along the pole formed due to b b dash and the rotor tries to align itself with the minimum reluctant position that is turn around 30 degree in step angle in clockwise direction so while b b dash is energized the stator axis exist that is because b b dash is in a available in a vertical manner so the rotor rotates in clockwise direction with a step angle of 30 degree now the switch s2 is open so b b dash is de energized and s3 is closed so that the phase c c dash is energized so the now c c dash is energized so the stator magnetic axis shift along the poles formed due to c c dash and the rotor tries to align itself minimum reluctant position that is rotate within a step angle of 30 degree in the same direction that is clockwise direction so while c c dash is energized the rotor try to align with the minimum reluctant position so that it is rotating an angle of step angle of 30 degree in the clockwise direction same direction the stepper motor continues to move in the step of 30 degree for each excitation either in clockwise or counterclockwise direction so if you continue this a b c like that so it will rotate in a 30 degree a c b a means it will rotate in counterclockwise direction so every excitation it rotates 30 degree either in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction 
Now the switching sequence continues. So A, B, C, A means clockwise rotation. A, C, B, A means counterclockwise rotation. Now we will see the torque equation. If I is the current passing through the phase which are excited then the torque developed by the motor is given by Tm equal to 1 divided by 2 I square dl by d theta. This L is nothing but inductance in Henry. Theta is the displacement angle in degree. So this is the torque equation. Now we will see the advantages and disadvantages of the variable reluctant stepper motor. First advantage is high torque to inertia ratio. The torque ratio is very high. High rate of acceleration. Fast dynamic response. Simple and low cost. Rotor has no windings. So these are all the advantages. The disadvantage is no didentant torque. Low efficiency at low voltage and stepping rate. So the low voltage is or stepping rate is very less mean the efficiency also very less. Normally available in 3.6 degree to 30 degree. So this is the range available. These are all the disadvantages. Now we will see the various modes of operation. So the first mode is the one phase on mode. One phase. Only one phase is one. what we discuss in the principle of operation. There also we operated only one phase. In the two types. Clockwise, counterclockwise. So here it is excited in this order. A, B, C, A. So that it rotates in clockwise direction with the angle of 30 degree. So this plus indicates excitation. Zero indicates no excitation. So initially the phase A is excited. That is called a initial position 0 degree step 1. After some time this A is de-excited and B is excited. So it will rotate around 30 degree. After some time B is de-energized 0. C is excited. So it will rotate another 6, 30 degree that is total 60 degree. Again it is continuous. Again A is excited. So it will rotate another 30 degree. So totally 90 degree. So the excitation is A. B, C, A. Like that it will go. So that is a clockwise rotation. The same process but it goes A, C, B, A. So that it will rotate in a counterclockwise direction with the same angle. 0, 30, 60, 90 degree. So these two modes. One phase on mode. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Now we will see the two phase. Two phase on mode. So the two phase mean at a time two phases are in the excited mode. Only two phases are energized. It is in this order A, B, B, C, C, A, A, B. So A and B is excited. So it rotates 15 degree. Then B and C is excited. Rotate another 30 degree. So 15 plus 30, 45 degree. Then C and A is excited. So another 30 degree. So 40 plus 30, 75 degree. Then again A and B is excited. So 105 degree. So it will rotate 35, 30 degree in each, uh, each excitation. But the initial position is 50 degree, 15 degree. In the earliest case, it is that 0 degree. So A, B, B, C, C, A and A, B again. So it rotates. So we will get the different stepping angle. 15, 45, 75, 105. And the fourth one is half step alternator. That is one phase and two phase. Both are available. So initially one phase A. Then two phase A B. Again one phase B. Again two phases. Like that it will go. A. A B. B. B C. C. C A. A like that. So that will get the different <coughs> stepping angle. So initially A is excited. Only A is excited. So we will get zero degree. That we already discussed. If A is discussed, A is excited, that is called A initial position 0 degree. Then A, B is excited. 
will get 15 degree the same as previous a b where a b excited 15 degree again only b is excited we know that if the b phase is excited we'll get 30 degree aligned with 30 degree then b c so it will rotate another 15 degree 45 in this case it is rotated 30 degree <coughs> but here rotate spot is 15 degree again phase c is excited so that it rotates at 65 degree then c and a excited 75 degree then a is excited 90 degree so we are getting different set of step angle 0 15 degree 30 degree 45 degree 65 degree 75 degree and 90 degree so these are all the modes of operation only one phase in that clockwise and counterclockwise then two phase the third method is one and two phase both one and two phases combined together so in this video we discuss the principle of operation of variable reluctant stepper mode what is the constructional view what is the control circuit how it is excited and what are the modes of operation subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination